Hello everyone, my name is Indu Varma. I'm the artist here at Salt My Studio. Today we're going to learn to paint tulips. The first thing that we'll do is draw some tulips. So I'll show you different ways of drawing the tulip in different orientations. So we draw an egg shape. We draw another egg shape on top of it. Put a little petal in the middle. And I can either erase this line or I can erase that line, one or the other. So I will erase this line here. And now that's looking more like a flower. And I will then put a stem. Okay, another way to draw the tulip. And I will put an egg shape here. Put a little bunny's ear here. And another one here. And put a little petal that comes around like that. And put a petal in the middle here. And another petal that kind of comes in behind and put a stem. Another way to draw a tulip is to draw a circle, kind of like a circular shape like that, and then put petals inside. So I'll put a petal here, petal here, petal here, another petal here, and two petals coming out from the top and I'll erase the extra line that I have here and this so this now looks like an open tulip and I'll put a little stem here and then I'll draw some buds here. Buds are just two leaves together. And put some stems. And that's kind of the way to draw tulips and buds. So we're ready to paint now. These are the brushes that I will use. This is my big, big fat watercolor number 10 brush. I'll be using one inch wide brush and a small edge brush. It's also a flat brush, but it has an edge and a round brush. So the first thing I'll do is wet my paper with the big fat brush completely. And I will put a wash of yellow just across it. And I want to make sure that my whole paper is wet. And I'm using Hansa Yellow Light Watercolor Daniel Smith. And I'm just mixing it with water and I'll just put it across like that. Making sure that all my paper has yeah, wash of yellow all across from edge to edge. And it doesn't have to be even. The whole idea is you have a wash of yellow across the paper and it's going to help us when we paint the flowers because your flowers and your background will come out much better as opposed to without this. Now I'll use my smaller edge brush and I will put the paint on the flowers. So I will use my cadmium orange and I'll start putting the paint and I'm just defining the shape of my petals here.
and I can always add more color later. Now I drew these tulips with a darker pencil than I normally would because I wanted you to be able to see the lines. Normally I would not be using this darker pencil. That was a 6B pencil. Any, anyhow, so I now will put uh, a little more orange here on this. And I'll use the uh, Kunicker Dawn Violet on this flower here. I don't want these to be completely even. So what I normally do is I use my paintbrush and I lift some color. And if it spreads out a little bit, it's not a big issue. It's okay because you kind of are creating a shadow and that's totally fine. And we will redefine these flowers later on anyway. So what we want is our petals to be defined. And we're using the edge of the brush to do that. And I'll use this same color for this flower here. I'm using the belly of my brush to do this. and make sure that I have enough color, but I'm not trying to make everything nice and even. I'm deliberately leaving spaces here and there because I want my yellow to be glowing from within. In fact, now I'm gonna add some more yellow to my orange flowers that I have here. And as you see, just as soon as I add the yellow, the flower takes on a different color. It becomes orangish red, and it has now kind of a glow. And I'll do the same thing here with this flower, or this bud, put some yellow on it. Make it bigger than it originally was because my orange has gone down here so I can just use that to my advantage and in the magenta flowers I'll put much lighter touch of yellow I still want a bit of glow but I will put much less yellow Okay, so that pretty much gives you an idea of how to paint your tulips. And then we're gonna work on the background. Okay, so now we'll add some background to our painting. And so I'm going to use my spray bottle and I will put some colors. And I'm going to use some nice blue on top of my yellow that I have. And I will let my water do the mixing. And I'll put it all around. I want to have kind of a nice rich greenish 
background I can always add more yellow. I can fix the flowers later on too. I'll try not to get any blue on top of my flowers. And I'll also add a bit of red here because the red kind of makes it richer. And of course we want to have a variety of colors in the background. Add some more yellow, which adds the green here, brings out the green a bit more. So you see the idea is just to get different colors because you don't want a solid background. And we're going around our flowers to create this background. So I'll spray this a little bit. By spraying, I get a very interesting effect which I kind of like, it's kind of like raindrops. And now I'll use my edge brush to redefine my flowers and my leaves. So here I have the edge brush and I'll redefine the flowers. And I don't have to have each and every petal defined, but it is nice to have a bit of definition. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're redefining our flowers a little bit. And it's okay to go outside a little bit because you kind of create a little shadow there. So here we are. And once our flowers are defined, then we can work on the stem and the leaves. Okay. And the stem is right here. There's one stem. And I'll use a bit of yellow to define that. I'll add some leaves. And same thing here, a bit of yellow to define that stem. And some leaves here, stem here and leaves here, add a bit more yellow. And that's our painting.